Bird Queen, Anna Roisman. You can find me here all over social media, babe. Are you awake yet? Huh? I'm not. I'm in PJs still with a blazer. It's Saturday morning, though, and we're here to honor Saturday morning cartoons. I love it. Hey, dig deep down into that cereal box. Dig. Is there a prize? Did you get a prize yet? It says, oh, it says $1,000 is the prize. That sounds sweeter than cereal, huh? Isn't this cute? Look how cute. We're all pink today. Spin the wheel around my face for your free letter. Whoa. Okay, who coffee when you got a bunch of letters just flying around your head, huh? Woo, thank you. Thank you for that wake up, seriously. Whatever letter it landed on will show up at the beginning of any puzzle. Hey, happy birthday. For the first puzzle, the faster you solve, the more money you're gonna win. And that's all, folks. Let's get this thing started. Your first hint is very loving animals. Aw, don't worry, I'm gonna help you because I'm here for you. Type in R, B, and C. These come in very different colors. They've been around for a while. They're also plush and so soft, they've got a lot of feelings. Good feelings. You know why? Cause they're Care Bears. You wanna see the Care Bears? Care Bears count down. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. The Care Bears count down. Let's count down who got that right. 138,100. You still care. I care. And 30,279 eliminated off the bat on Care Bears. Four, three, two, one. Are you saving up those strikes? I know it's because you care. So let's keep playing. In the mud, who is this preschool oinker? That should help. This is actually a British cartoon about the adventures of this barn animal. An animal who oinks, obviously. Some people think this character is giving American kids a British accent, which I think is adorable. I wish I had a British accent sometimes. I'm talking about Peppa Pig. Hey, remember Peppa a good name. Are eliminated on Peppa Pig, you're in the mud for the rest of the game. Since we're having so much fun this morning, I asked you, Amanda Lucy, who said, well, a lot of you said, Yabba Dabba Doo. Thank you, Fred Flintstone. Also, shout out to Corey and Casey from Boston, I love Boston, who said, with your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. Thank you, I am Captain Planet right now. But for me, I remember a lot of cartoons I watched because of the music that they had. Do you remember this catchy 90s tune? It's the opening number to a popular cartoon that also became movies, a number of movies. Okay, it's based on comic books. And yes, it is about superheroes. Catchy 90s tune. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the X-Men theme song. Let's hear it. 120,965. Remember the X-Men theme song. 14,508 are out of the game on X-Men theme. There were women in that too, you know. Okay. When I first heard we were doing cartoons, I said, we got to do a puzzle about this show. It was Bigger. Remember Recess? It was about, you guessed it, it was about Recess. And there was a whole cast of characters that you would find at school. Like this one, who happens to be in charge of the whole place. Don't want to make this one mad. And the answer is Principal Prickly. Remember Principal Prickly? You don't want to... You don't want to do anything bad around him. 28,854 solved the puzzle. 92,728, you got schooled on recess. That makes sense. Schooled out of the puzzle on recess. That means you're going into detention, I think. While we're on the subject of strong personalities like Principal Prickly, who run the world? 
Powerpuff Girls. What makes them so special? This Powerpuff ingredient. It's the black gooey liquid, liquid that gives them their superpowers. You know what I love about it? It's better. It also gives them their appearance, which is pretty cute, right? You know the power puffs. But what makes them have powers? It's a very special ingredient called Chemical X. Chemical X for the Powerpuff Girls. That's not a song, but it sounded great, right? 25,000 still in the game, 8,500 eliminated on Chemical X. You got X'd out on the Powerpuff Girls question. All right, it's pretty amazing that no chemicals, no superpowers were used to get here. Hey, cartoon loons! You did it, you made it halfway through the game. Only five more puzzles until, you, until your journey, right? For the possibility of your first of two wins today on HQ Words. Are you playing the game with your family? Or how about some odd relatives? They're fairly odd, I should say. They have one son between them named Poof. It's a fun name, Poof. And this show centers around their relationship Do you remember it? Odd relatives. We all have some of those, but I'm talking about Cosmo and Wanda. Here they are from the Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, Cosmo and Wanda is the answer. How many got it right? 14,400 are still on their way to Adventureland and 11,057. We say goodbye here on Cosmo and Wanda but we're going on to puzzle seven. We've highlighted a lot of cartoons about human characters in the last few, but let's dive into the animal side of things. I wanna know this famous rodent quote. Okay, these guys have a task, but also are they rats? Are they mice? Are they rats? I don't know, help us solve this debate in the chat. But they have the same goal every episode. You see what I'm wearing today? What if I told you I love the color pink? Huh? Use your brain, people! Ooh, those are such good hints. I'm talking about Pinky and the Brain when they try to take over the world! The pinky and the Brain, 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 Remember this? Brain, brain, pinky brain, and the Brain, Brain, Brain. 10,388! You're using your brain this morning! 4,951! It's still asleep. It's still asleep. It's, I get it. It's early. Sometimes when you're doing things like taking over the world, it's hard to do it alone. You need some support. Who is this feathered sidekick? This character is very helpful. Despite him being a silly goof or a gentle giant, big gentle giant as some say, he's also a pilot, which is ironic because he should be able to fly on his own. But he's a pilot. You got this. Think about a feathered sidekick named Launchpad McQuack from DuckTales. Remember DuckTales? That was a good theme song. Launchpad McQuack, 2,666 solved the puzzle, 8,400. You schooled a Launchpad McQuack. The DuckTales are like, Goodbye, we don't need you anymore, but we're keeping this thing going. Here's a fun one. I mean fun in a mischievous kind of way. These guys are always doing silly things. Your hint is troublesome trio. That's right, there's three of them. They're a little maniacal, right? Kind of like me this morning. They're also very cute. Their show is more of a variety of sketches and scenarios. It's not necessarily a full narrative. But like so many others, wow, what a catchy theme song on this. You got this. You got a lot of letters flipped there for Yakko, Wacko, and Dot. It's the Animaniacs. It's Remember? Time for Animaniacs. And we're saving it to the max. Good song. 2,500 still in the game. 1,400 are out of here. Bye bye on Animaniacs. Those guys are crazy. But what's even crazier is we're almost done. I'm sad, but you made it to the final puzzle. You've flown through so many animated worlds to get here. We started today with over 150,000 players and now only the strong are left. I hope you're feeling competitive because here's a sign it's about to go down. 
in this cartoon, five guys partner up to become one dominating hero, AKA the defender of the universe. But that's a good hint, five things come together. Do you know who they are? Do you know this cartoon for the win? I'm talking about robot lions forming Voltron. Voltron Force. Let's see how many people got it. Robot lions forming Voltron and today's cartoon loon winners is 1,032 players. You just won HQ words. What a beautiful Saturday morning. Sweet, let's take a look at our fastest players in today's game. In first place, hey, I love Saturday. I love Saturday too, you won $100. In second place, Snozcaft just won $75. And in third place, Noovdraft, those rhyme, won $50. Congratulations, all the word nerds all around. I'm gonna eat this. That is the game for today. Congrats to all of the other winners and our first time HQ Words players. I'd love to get brunch. I but Launchpad McQuack and I are gonna try and take over the world as long as Principal Prickly doesn't put us in detention. Ugh. I'm Anna Roisman. Find me here on social media. And hey, if you wanna hang out more, then today's your lucky day, babe. I will see you tonight and every night after HQ Trivia for a brand new game of HQ Words. So go read some books until tonight, have some coffee, practice up those words, or I don't know, just binge watch a bunch of cartoons and stay in PJs. It's Saturday. Do that. Love you. Bye. <laughs>